you know, the geology of this place is pretty interesting too. You see there's rocks there on their side. You see this thing I'm standing on. I mean, looks like this whole thing has been turned on its side. You know. well, I think I'm pretty close to the top. It's kind of flattened out when you get up on top of here. Um, wild turkey do, and I've been seeing I'm up pretty darn high. And you see that? That's a big old hunk of. You tell me there's buffalo up here? I mean, I suppose that could be deer, but that's a deer that really had to go, man. Uh, I might be coming to the edge here. I'm not sure. It smells like Christmas trees up here. Do a 360 here. You know, the top of this thing is pretty flat. I'm going to turn this thing off again just for a bit. At the top. Oh, this. Oh, this was the best hike I've had. Certainly in Oklahoma. And down there, right in the middle of the screen, you can see, hopefully you can see the bridge. Kind of like a 10 and 2 position. I can just barely see my truck down there. I know my hand's shaking some, but... see the headquarters for the wildlife refuge over there. I'm glad the clouds have mostly cleared off. See the road passing way down there. I can't see Mount Scott or anything in that direction. There's still too much in the way of clouds. But, um, oh wow. That thing right there might be uh, about the same level as that. I wanted to get to where I could see, you know, look down from the top and see the truck. Yeah, I can see it. I can see the whole country. But I think I'm going to go ahead and and hike over to that part. I can't go this way. I'll work my way around and get over to that part right there. And hopefully the clouds will clear off more by the time I get there. Look at the boulders sitting up on top of there. That may not look like much, but that's bigger than my truck. Those are some big boulders sitting on top of that thing over there. I'm having trouble. See the trees? I like over the southern part I was showing you. I'm having trouble finding a way to get up to uh, up to the top. I'll keep working on it. That's that rock I was showing you back there. And it again is just a boulder that's just sitting there loose. It's not even connected. And that thing, <laughs> I said it was bigger than my truck. It's bigger than three of my trucks. That thing, I estimate, is at least 25 feet wide. I mean, that is just huge. I don't know if I can get to it because there's a crevice between me and it. I'm trying to work my way around to it. I can do a 360 here. I had a little bit of trouble getting over here. The problem I'm having here is the rocks are just so huge. This, you know, a lot of this isn't like boulder hopping. I mean, these things are just enormous. God, this place is incredible. I'll get back in a bit. The clouds are really breaking up now. The sun's really coming out. 
I'm going to have a task getting down from this thing, but I still, I can see it's kind of the valley over there. I'm going to try to work my way up on top of those rocks there and get down, look down again. I'm getting hungry. It's uh, 12 o'clock. I forget what time I started. It's about 10 o'clock. So I'll get back in a bit. I'm up here on top of this thing. There's that boulder there. or anything in there or I, I thought I might maybe see some tadpoles or something. Uh, oh wow. This is the most amazing place that I have ever seen in my life. And I did not know it was like this. I did the video where I was looking down my truck, I was on the other side of that ridge. I'm still trying to get, I need to get up on top of these rocks right here, I think. But you can see the valley real well there. Oh, wow. Clouds are clearing off. A little boulder there. And you could, it looks like you could work your way down there, although I'm sure so I'm not going to try. I'm just trying to get over here. I'll be back in a bit. I I can see that bridge again. I can see my truck. Man, I've had to do a lot of major boulder hopping to get where I am. Oh. And I'm standing on top of a boulder. I mean, this thing drops all around me. But I'm going to try to get to this next thing right here. Actually, the first place I was showing you my truck, that is between me and it. I've circled all the way around. So I'm going to try to climb the rocks and get over up on that because it's a bit higher. Alright, at the top again, a different top. Standing on top of a boulder. When I first started the trail, there was a sign posted that said, Warning, boulding ho boulder hopping is dangerous. And I thought they were exaggerating. I can tell you, they weren't kidding. They were not kidding. This thing is just covered with boulders, any one of which is as big as your car. Some of these things are bigger than my apartment. Still not the highest possible point. See that rounded thing? That's a bit higher than what I am. And I see something over there in the distance that's a bit higher, but hey, I'm I can't see my truck. It's there's those trees in the way. But hopefully you can see well enough now that the clouds have cleared off, get an idea of how high I am. And I climbed from down there on the floor up here. And this is the best climb I have ever had. I mean, even anything on the AT I did was not just as beautiful as this. This is incredible. But it is 12.30. I haven't eaten since breakfast. It's going to take me probably a couple hours to get back down to the truck. I think I started around 10. I forget exactly. But uh, it's going to take me a bit to find the trail back down. But yeah, you see all the cactus? This whole thing. You get up to the top and it's kind of flat here at the top. And it's all covered with this, you know, cactus. And it's big, huge boulders. I'm on top of a boulder that's probably 20 feet tall. Because I wanted to get as high as I could at this point. But yeah, it's time to get headed back. Boy, today's Thursday. I may do this again on Saturday. You know, I mean, this is a hike I'll definitely have to do again sometime. I may do it again on Saturday. I'll see how I feel. But boy, 
I am so glad I did this. I haven't done Elk Mountain before. If you come to Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge, if you do nothing else, climb Elk Mountain. You will be glad you did. I'll tell you. <laughs> I, uh, if you ever go hiking pretty much anywhere, particularly, you know, like this, bring some emergency supplies. Bring a compass, bring a lighter, some matches. I always carry a day pack with all that. Uh, got an emergency sleeping bag, paracord, um, emergency whistle, two different kinds of lights. I carry a lot of stuff because it's a good thing. Is I, I've just spent 45 minutes wandering around on top of this mountain trying to find the path down. I finally found it. You know, I mean, there's a well, pretty well defined path leading up here, but when you get up on top, get up in all the boulders, it's pretty darn easy to, uh, to get lost. And I spent just 45 minutes climbing over boulders, zigzagging through, just going this way and that, trying to find the path. I finally found it. It took some doing. I can tell you, if I didn't have a compass, you know, I wouldn't, uh, it would have taken longer. So, if you ever do go hiking, bring compass, matches, lighter, paracord, emergency sleeping bag. I'm talking just one of those uh, Mylar silver, sort of like one of those emergency blankets, but it's made like a sleeping bag. You know, just bring a collection of stuff just in case. But yeah, this has been a great hike. Um, it's going on one o'clock now. It was about noon back there, I believe, when I did that last video at the top. Um, so I'm heading back down now. I am really hungry. I haven't eaten since breakfast. It's time to get back down to my truck and get over. And I got steaks I'm going to grill up for lunch. This has been an incredible hike. This is an amazing place. I'm going to sign off for now. <laughs> Cause I'm tired and I want to get down. Making my way down. I was up on top of that and you can see the valley floor down there. I gotta go and find out exactly how tall Oak Mountain is and exactly you know how uh, from the base to the top. Not just the elevation at the top because I don't know what the elevation at the base is. I'd like to find out exactly how far you've got to climb to get up here. It's a pretty good distance, though. But, whew. I want to do a little thing here. You couldn't see a lot. Hopefully see off. Now, I climbed up out of the valley floor there to get here. And I climbed up on top of that. And I got to say, I mean, it's really not that hard. I'm carrying nothing more than a trekking pole. And I got my hiking boots on, the same boots I used on the AT. I mean, if you're in pretty good shape, you're not going to fall doing this. There's a, I mean, the trail going up is pretty well defined, but when you get to the top, that's where you start having problems. Because the top is pretty well spread out. And there's big house-sized boulders up there. And yeah, I got lost for about 45 minutes just wandering around up there in the boulders, trying to find my way back down. So, getting to the top is no problem, but... Finding a way up around, just wandering up around the top. Yeah, you can get lost. I mean, you're not going to get lost, lost. I mean, I can say I wandered around for about 45 minutes. And the reason it took so long is just climbing over boulders. I say that sign that I encountered when I first started, which where it said boulder hopping is dangerous, I thought that sounded kind of silly. It ain't silly. It is uh, dead serious. <sighs> but I figure it's going to take me. It's uh, actually 1 o'clock straight up right now. I'll do another video when I get down to the truck. Let's see how long it takes me to get down there. Back down. There's the bridge. And there's where I was way up there. It took me, since I did that last video, 
took me another half hour to get back down. I had to get back. Here in just a second, I'll tell you. I got to stop this and go look at that first video of the properties and see what the time was and figure out exactly how long that took. Okay, here we go. I started at 10.17 and finished at... Uh, 135 so that's not quite three hours and 20 minutes it takes maybe an hour and 15 minutes to get up to the top I spent probably an hour 15 minutes maybe an hour and a half at the top it took about 45 minutes to hike back down oh and uh, I never sat down any that whole time so the whole time I was I kept hiking the entire time but uh, it is a great place, and I was, I know that's not great video there, but I was up on top of that looking back down at my truck. If you do any hiking out here at the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge, do it here. Climb Elk Mountain. You'll be glad you did. But for now... It's time to uh, get on back to my camp and grill me up some lunch because it's going to be 2 o'clock by the time I get back and I haven't eaten since breakfast. So that's it for now.